This video is a book review rather than talking about music. The review is the book entitled Burn Book by Tara Swisher. From the title of the book, it is not easy for the average reader to decipher what the book is about. The answer can be found in the prologue, in the beginning of the book. The author, a journalist who has been covering Silicon Valley and the internet industry for decades, was disappointed that, quote, an interesting number of those once fresh faced wonder kids I had mostly rooted for now made me feel like a parent whose progeny had turned into, well, harsh holes. End of quote. The breaking point was when the current heads of Silicon Valley's most powerful tech companies had been summed to Trump into Manhattan's Trump Tower and meet the man who had unexpectedly just been elected president and was the antithesis of all they supposedly represented. End of quote. One of tech's top tier players who had not been invited due to his liberal leanings and criticism of Trump, called the author and stated, quote, sucking up to that corporate loser who never had a business, he didn't drive straight into a wall, is shameful, end of quote. I guess that was when the author decided to write this book if you are surprised to see the word assholes appearing so early in the book, you are in for a shock. The prologue ends with a doubly emphasized F word. If you are not offended and read on, you will learn stories about several famous names such as Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Cuban, as well as names who are less well known to people not in tech. For example, Mark Benniff and Dave Goldberg. You need to be forewarned, however, that the F word appears regularly throughout this book, including four times on a single page. I leave it as a puzzle for the reader to find out what this page is. Not surprisingly, Jobs, Gates, Zuckerberg, Bezos received the most detailed coverage. An interesting matrix, the quote, prick to product productivity ratio, end of quote, which the author shortened as P2P is introduced by the author to quantify her judgments of the powerful people she had covered over the years. Briefly, she would consider what she thought were someone's accomplishments against her highly subjective assessment of their characters based on her own interactions. Quote, a good PT, P2P has a higher second number than a first, or someone's character outweighs their innovation. End of quote. The P2P ratios she gave Steve Jobs and Bill Gates are 8-10 and 7-10 respectively. She did not give one to Jeff Bezos. As for Elon Musk, quote, Musk utterly broke my ratio by turning up the pricks 
to 11, to 12, to infinity and beyond. P to P ratio infinity over what Tf. The author did not give a P to P ratio to Mark Zuckerberg whom he devoted a whole chapter 9 entitled The Most Dangerous Man. Chapter 13 entitled I, Ashhole was devoted to Elon Musk. To the author, Musk is, quote, the most disappointing man in tech, end of quote. Chapter 14 is entitled The Measures. I wonder how many readers know what the word measures mean. Well, it means a person of dignity and honor. A long list of names appears in this chapter, including Mark Cuban and less well-known ones such as Dave Goldberg. By the way, Manchester is spelled M-E-N-S-C-H-E-S. -E One annoying feature is that there's no index. In the author's opinion, indexes encourage one to just look up certain topics instead of reading the whole book. This certainly does not apply to me. The index facilitates me to read certain subjects further without searching through the book to find them, a time-wasting and annoying task. A no-index book certainly makes the reviewer's task more difficult. No doubt it is hard work to prepare a good index, but it is a worthwhile task. There are memorable quotes, two of which are given below. The second one was from Steve Jobs' commencement speech at Stanford University in 2005. Quote, if both died on the same day, Gates obituary would begin by noting that he was the world's richest man, while Jobs would begin with the world's tech's greatest visionary. Now the second quote. You've got to find what you love, and that is a tool for your work, as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. End of second quote. In conclusion, a valuable and interesting book on the personalities of the tech industry, as well as interesting discussions on the good and the bad of tech inventions. End of video.